Hey guys, I should have commented on this earlier today, but I'll comment on it right now since it is big news and it is one of the bigger Cinderella stories in college football uh, next to uh, probably Northern Illinois right now since uh, Fresno State got knocked off. But a huge congrats to the Duke Blue Devils for uh, getting to the ACC championship game. And I'm not talking about basketball, I'm talking about the football team. Very impressive. Most wins in school history, 10 wins. I was watching a little bit of that game uh, today between uh, them and playing North Carolina. And I know it's always a huge rivalry, big time. I know college basketball is absolutely nuts. But for football, that's huge. Because um, for starters, you know, you get your second win over your rival, the Tar Heels. And on top of that, you get your first 10 win season in school history. I mean, that's more than the old ball coach back in the uh, 80s, and uh, yes, I can say that because I was being here in the state of Florida, but yeah, very impressive win, uh, but I noticed too in that game, and just a little bit during the uh, season, not so much this season, but the last few seasons, they just make plays, they just uh, make plays, period, I mean, the head coach, uh, he, he did a tremendous job taking that job there over the last six years, now look at him, going to the ACC championship game. Obviously, they're going to be huge underdogs against Florida State. But you know what? You keep on making the plays like you did against North Carolina, yeah, you got a chance to beat them and also get to a BCS Bowl, which would be even bigger for that program. So it's unbelievable. Great story for this year. And, again, I'm just uh, tipping my hat off to the Blue Devils for doing this, uh, such a task right now. So, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, they're going to be huge underdogs against Florida State. So what? You just got to just keep on playing the way they've been waiting to play all season long. I mean, when they beat Miami a few weeks ago, I was like, whoa. You know, and then I noticed they beat uh, Virginia Tech, too, uh, a few weeks ago as well. I'm like, okay, this team's been rolling. But I didn't know they had so many wins. It's just unbelievable season right now. So uh, it kind of also boosted the ACC, too, as far as uh, people saying, quote, unquote, a weak conference. And I'm not going to lie, I was one of those people. But it still has got stronger this year, obviously, not just because Florida State and Clemson, but uh, – Obviously, Miami, Virginia Tech still doing their thing, too. And now, now Duke getting the credit as they should, even being ranked, too. Now, nobody's even talking about it because I guess people are still in awe that the fact that you guys have won 10 games and talk about the football team, not the, not the basketball team, the football team. Unbelievable. So, of course, that's just going to help recruiting and everything else, yada, yada, yada. Boy, you guys beat Florida State, like the way Auburn just beat Alabama? <laughs> wow. Talking about a BCS you know, shake up big time, which would be pretty cool. I mean, it's good for the sport of college football, you know. And uh, who knows what's going to happen between Ohio State and Michigan State, too, in their championship game. But championship uh, weekend is going to be huge. And pretty much I think it will be the last game televised, unless it's one of those smaller um, conferences. I'm not too sure. I haven't checked the schedule yet. But I know it's uh, next week, 8 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be huge. Hey, might be able to get more a lot of the fans there too because it's going to be at uh where the Panthers play, if I'm not mistaken, at the Carolina Panthers Stadium. So come on, Duke Blue Doubles, show us that that same uh, fan support that you guys do the football team. I mean, the basketball team. And I can say, guys got a chance. Just keep on making plays. I know Jameis Winston's having a, a tremendous year, but you know nobody's going to uh you know come on, now. quarterbacks can be rattled. Obviously, I got to go to the NFL, but it's true. Look at those quarterbacks in the NFL: Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. Those guys get rattled too. You rattle uh, Jameis Winston, got a chance. Hey, that's why they say in the NFL, any given Sunday, that's in the sport of football. It can be any given Saturday, any given Friday, Thursday, whatever. You just never know. Well, when you hit that football field, it doesn't matter if you're a heavy favorite or a heavy underdog. It goes either way. So again, big congrats to the Blue Devils. A tremendous season, kind of a scrappy team, point blank. And uh, we're going to see how this is all going to unfold basically next week, too. And uh, obviously after that, after the bowl game, too, whatever happens as well after the uh, championship game. But huge congrats, and uh, talk to you guys later.